Hello there, God bless you. You are welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. It's always a great honor for me, a rare privilege. I refuse to take it for granted every time the Lord leaves a prophetic word in my spirit. And I have to share, I feel really privileged because I know this is a word in season for someone. God is about to minister to you by himself. And this word is coming to serve as a confirmation. It's coming to give you direction. It's coming to tell you, you are on the right path. Don't look back. Don't be scared. You are right. Hallelujah. God bless you. If this is the first time you're coming across my channel, a special welcome to you. Thank you so much for joining. Become a part of our family. Subscribe and do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that whenever there is a fresh word, whenever God gives us a prophetic message, you will be the first to know. And to all my returning subscribers, you already know I love you so much. You're always my prayer. I'm praying for you all the time. God bless you. Hallelujah. God says you were chosen for this purpose. You were chosen for this particular purpose. Do not be scared. Do not be frightened. No matter what is happening, do not be frightened. Do not be scared. Because you were chosen for this particular purpose. Um, maybe maybe already you have already um, identified it. You have identified why God has set you up by what apart why he has chosen you or maybe you are yet to identify i'm going to speak to both categories people who have already identified maybe you're watching me you've already identified what god wants you to do but for one reason or the other you're feeling reluctant for one reason or the other you're feeling like you can't do it or maybe you have not yet known what god wants for you you don't know exactly what god expects of you then this prophetic word is for you now, all of us are called and are chosen, and, and, and the Bible says we are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a peculiar people. God has chosen each and every one of us to do specific assignments. And as our faces are different, so are our assignments. We are all chosen to do different things. That is why you might feel a burden for a particular thing, and I do not feel that burden because I'm not chosen to solve that problem. Or I'm not chosen to go towards that direction. You might be explaining something to me, and you're very passionate about it, and I don't really understand why you're so passionate because God has called you. God has... um put that burden in your heart god has the god has the culture to always raise people to carry out particular assignments always always the bible tells us in the book of nehemiah tells us about nehemiah you know jerusalem was in ruins and guess what there were people were in jerusalem and nobody had the burden that Jer that nehemiah rather ne i'm talking about nehemiah please forgive me Nobody had the burden to rebuild. There were people living in Jerusalem and no one had the burden to want to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. But Nehemiah was living in a foreign land, not even in Jerusalem. When he heard the, 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 the walls of, of uh, um, Jerusalem were in ruins and the city itself was desolate, he had a strange burden to rebuild, a strange burden, so much so that opposition arose, but he did not care. He did not bother. Sambala, Tobiah, and the other guy, I've forgotten his name, they did not want him to build. They skimmed, they did everything to discourage him, but he was resolute in building. Do you know why? Because God had raised him and set him aside. Now, the Bible says in the book of Nehemiah, chapter 2, and verse 20. So now they were, they, they were mocking Nehemiah and asking him, What exactly do you think you want to do? You want to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem? Are you okay? And now this is his answer. He says, Jeremiah, Jeremiah 2, and verse 20. I answered them, The God of heaven has appointed us for this purpose and will give us success. Therefore, we, his servants, will arise and build, for you have no portion, right, or memorial in Jerusalem. Did you hear that? He said, the Lord of heaven has chosen us and anointed us for this purpose. Therefore, he's going to give us good success. I am not doing this because I am ambitious. I am not doing this because I'm trying to build a name for myself. I am building this because the Lord of hosts have chosen me. And what I love about this is he said he is going to give us success. 
He will, um, you are going to be successful. Now, maybe God has put a burden in your heart for a particular task and people have been trying to discourage you or you yourself, you sit and you feel like, am I going to do this? Is this feasible? Can I do this? I want to tell you, firstly, you're not doing it by your strength. You're not doing it because you are strong enough. You're not doing it because um, you, you, you are able to do it. You are doing it because God has assigned you. God is the one that is pushing you. You might say, I did not hear the voice of God telling me to do this. I did not hear the voice. I just felt like I won't do it. God, that is how God does. He puts a desire in your heart. He puts a passion for something in your heart. You yourself, you don't understand. You yourself cannot explain. You yourself, I mean, it, when you explain it to someone, you know some of the hurdles you go through and, and you encounter. If another person were to be in your shoe, they would just pack up. They would give up. But what is keeping you going is because there is a force that is stronger than you, pushing you, propelling you to do that thing. And be rest assured, God is with you. He's going to give you success. It doesn't matter the opposition you, you encounter or the hurdles you face. God has chosen you to carry out that specific task. And the one who chose you is well able. He is well able to help you. He is well able to get you to a point where you accomplish it. And for you who is still, maybe you, you've not discovered that thing yet, but your heart goes out for a particular thing, you know? Your heart goes out for a particular assignment. Your heart goes out for a particular thing. I was telling someone the other day, when we talk about God calling people to do specific things, we think the call has to be dramatic. We think God has to, you know, do some kind of drama. No, he just impressed something in your spirit. He just puts it there. And most of the time, he doesn't even talk. And he lets you, you know, swim in that thought until the thought overpowers you, overcomes you, until every day you wake up and you think about it. That is the hand of God. That is God calling you and choosing you to do a particular task. It is God calling you and choosing you to do a particular task. It doesn't have to be dramatic, but God has appointed you to do that task and he is going to equip you. You might not feel like you are equipped. God doesn't really call the equipped. God calls those who are willing and he qualifies them. When God was calling Nehemiah to rebuild the gates, Nehemiah did not have anything. He did not have any resource to do that. All he had was a passion. Everything he used, he used manpower, he used people. He did not build it by himself. And God made it in such a way that when he shared his vision, those people were willing to, you know, to come together and rebuild the wall. He, he, the resources that were given to him by the king of Pesha were given free of charge. He did not spend a dime. As a matter of fact, when Nehemiah shared his vision to those people in Jerusalem, they were so passionate about working. They desired to work so much so that it got to a point they were, they were building with one hand and they were holding a sword ready to fight any adversary with another hand. When God gives you a vision, he provides for it. That is why it is called provision. So do not worry yourself. Do not be worried to say, how am I going to fend? How am I going to pursue this? How am I going to go about this? If God placed that vision in your heart, if he appointed you, if he chose you for it, he sure will provide for you. Did you receive this word with gladness? May the Lord bless you, keep your cast's face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious to you and give you peace in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Shalom.